Hi, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this pneumatic gun right here. And um, as you can see, some of this stuff is a little expensive and hard to get, so I will be coming out with a version later made with stuff like syringes, stuff that are easier to get. And to fire it, I just pull this in to build up pressure, and then release the pressure by pulling this trigger right here. So as you can see, that's about it for the working of this one here. Just one more video after this. And um, like I said before, I am also doing one with syringes. So here's a quick preview of it. Now this one's a lot more difficult to fire, but I find it actually fires stronger. And this one's made with more household materials. So I'll be coming out with that in about a week or so. Um, so the materials here have some tube there. And here is a valve that I got from Princess Auto which just controls the flow of air. And here is a piston that I got from Princess Auto as well, which is just um, a surplus farm equipment store or auto parts store, um, factory stuff also. That's the type of stuff they sell. There's a tube that I'll be using for the barrel of the gun that I got from a normal hobby store and a non-hollow tube there that fits inside of it, which will be the bullet. So I cut the one that's not hollow into smaller pieces bullet sized I guess and it fits inside the uh, barrel to make an airtight seal. Now I'm just gonna glue a piece of skewer in the back of it not blocking off the air but what I basically wanted to do is stop the bullet from sliding out the back. Now the valve here basically what it's going to do is in one position it's gonna stop the flow of air and then when I flip the position of the valve it's gonna let the air flow out of the flow out into the um, the barrel. So I attach one side of it to the um, to the piston as you can see there. So basically what I want to do have it do is when it's in the lock position the piston builds up the air pressure and then when I unlock it it releases it through the other side. And Now I'm just going to glue the piston on top of the valve and attach it with a um, piece of that hose there. And now another piece of hose attaches to the barrel of the gun. Push that on and then I'll just glue the barrel of the gun on top of it. And then bend that side around and push it into the valve. So again what happens when I squeeze the uh, piston is it builds up the air pressure then when I release the valve the air pressure goes through to the other side of the valve and goes right into the uh, barrel there. So I just glue that in, hold it in place, and let it in. And then the last thing I do is I just bang a piece of uh, metal. I found a piece of metal that was um, a cylinder. I banged it up into a nice shape and put it on the back of the gun. Now that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website for more projects like this. And like I said before, I'm coming out with a version with more easily acquirable items like syringes and um, I showed you the quick preview of it so definitely wait for that video it'll be coming out soon and check it out